This week on the channel, let's take a look at the Odin, a guitar from Zach Wilde's new company, Wild Audio. This was kind of a hard video for me to do because I really, really wanted to like this guitar. I'm a big fan of Zach Wilde. His playing with Ozzy and with Black Label Society is incredible and he puts on one of the best live shows that I've ever seen. Zach Wilde is the physical embodiment of a guitar icon. That's why it's so disappointing that in my opinion, the Wild Audio Odin missed the mark. Huh, get it? Missed the mark because of the bullseye design? Because it's funny and never mind. Anyways, the Odin is by no means a terrible guitar and in fact on paper it checks all the boxes. Mahogany body, maple neck, ebony fingerboard, EMG pickups, Tone Pro's hardware, a kick-ass body shape and awesome bullseye design. It's also ridiculously heavy which I actually like. I love heavy guitars and it's one of my favorite things about my 72 Custom. Sound-wise, it's exactly what you'd expect with the mahogany body and EMG pickups, so what's wrong with the Odin then? In my opinion, the asking price for this guitar is just way too high. It's something that can't really be shown over a YouTube video, but this just doesn't feel like a $1,000 guitar. In fact, it feels more like a five to $600 guitar with EMG pickups thrown in. One of my biggest gripes is with the ebony fingerboard. It feels far more plasticky than either my Gibson or my ESP. And cosmetically, it's much lighter colored than on the pictures on the website, making it look kinda cheap. I mean, it's even lighter than the rosewood on my Epiphone, and they really should have stained it. If you look at its competitors, other mahogany single cuts with EMGs, you have a lot of options. You have the Epiphones with Matt Heafy's signature model at 750, Bjorn Galat's signature model, I'm pretty sure I butchered his name at 800, the ESP LTD EC1000 at 900, and the full thickness model comes in at I believe $1,000. When you pick any of those up, they feel great. They feel like quality instruments, and at least in the case with the Epiphones, it speaks volumes that they're actually the ones that the musicians themselves take on tour. With all that in mind, unless you're a hardcore Zach Wilde fan, it's really hard to justify spending that money on an Odin instead. If it were a $700, $800 guitar, it might be a different story. All in all, I'm not worried about the future of Wild Audio. It's a new company and there are going to be bumps in the road, especially starting out. Zach, if you're watching this, I'm sorry bro. I love your music, I love your playing, but this guitar just didn't do it for me. Big thanks to the people that made this guitar available for the demo. I really appreciate it. And as always, all the relevant links will be in the description below. If you've played a Wild Audio instrument, I'd love to know what you thought. So leave that in the comment section. You've been awesome. 
This has been the Wild Audio Odin. I've been Hunter. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.